something on the floor so we're not just laying on the hard floor. That will be perfect. So while we're waiting for folks to hop on, you know I'm going to start doing some arm circles just to get things moving. Got a great couple circuits. Circuits. That was circuit and workout together. That's what happens when I try to talk too fast. Anyway, you get the idea. So, so while we're waiting, let's go ahead and do some arm circles, and we're just going to get everything rolling here in just a second. Keep your shoulder blades nice and thin back. Boy, whatever I did in the workout yesterday, I can tell I have shoulder blades, that's for sure. And let's switch directions. Woo! Here comes the whole gang. Awesome. So everybody who's just hopping on, let's just get some arm circles going. Get everything moving. If you've been doing them for a minute, boy, you start to feel them. That's good. Thumbs towards the ceiling. Awesome. All right, shake them out. We're gonna get stuff moving pretty quickly. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do some really straightforward, just backward lunges, just to get the hips opened up just a little bit. Nothing too challenging just yet. Just a nice step backwards. Reaching up over your head. Squeeze the glute of the leg you're stepping back with, just to get a little more range of motion in there. And let's do one more on each side. All right, and I'm gonna stay right here and come over in a squatted position. And let's get some letter T's to again really get those shoulder blades moving, get everything opened up. Thumbs facing behind you usually works pretty well. Let's do three more of those. And now feet a little bit wider. And we're gonna bring our arms up into that Y position and sink down. Okay, and from here, let's do some little arm circles with your arms over your head. You should really feel your shoulder blade muscles kicking in with that. Awesome. And then let's bring your hands right down in the middle between your knees, pushing out. We're just gonna stand it up nice and slow. Reach up one more time, bring it down. We don't have to circle this time. <laughs> bring your hands down here. And actually, let's go ahead and go right onto the floor. And we're gonna do what's called the world's greatest stretch. Bring one foot forward, and you're gonna rotate towards that front leg. And then come back, and we'll just do the same on the other side. Reach, eyes, follow your hands. All right, and come on back into this position. Just hold there for just a second. Kind of rock back and forth just a little bit. All right, we're gonna pump your ankles a little bit, get a little calf stretch in there. And then walk your feet towards your hands, and then walk your hands towards your feet. Woo, and come on up. All right, hope everybody's a little bit warmer and ready to go. I'm gonna grab some light weights. The first thing we're gonna start off with is actually right into a split squat. So it's the same as kind of the backward lunge. You're just gonna go down and press up over your head at the same time. So you can do this without weight or lighter weights if you want. We're gonna go right from that into a single arm row. And I'll show you that here in a second. So, keep going. Let's do about five more on this side. Last one here. And then I'm gonna go over here just for a little bit of stability. 
I'm going to come into a hip hinge. If you want to grab a heavier weight, we're going to do a one arm row on this side before we flip over. So go as heavy as you're comfortable with here. Try to keep your back leg out straight with your body. Okay, let's do three more on this side. And hold for one second. All right, I'm gonna turn around this way. So other leg forward, and we're going back into that split squat, pressing up over your head at the same time. You don't have to go down very far to get the full effect of that. Go as heavy or as light on the weights as you're comfortable with. Let's get five more. Last one. And if you want to train, if you want to have your weight, go ahead and grab it. And we're going back into this single leg stance and pull. I think I'm cheating because my foot's on my chair, but that's okay. Actually, that's kind of comfortable. Ha. Let's do three more. Awesome. All right, now right from here, we're gonna go into a slightly squatted over position. My arms are bent and I'm raising them backwards. And this is a little bit different. You're squeezing the shoulder blades. You should feel this a lot more behind your shoulders than on top of them. So as you lift your hands, your hands should end up like right by your ears. Okay, let's do three more like that. You're gonna know you have shoulder blades by the time we're done. <laughs> okay, the next one, I'm gonna come up just a little bit. I'm gonna be here and here. It's a shoulder hinge. These are great for improving your range of motion. You don't want to go too heavy on the weight with this one. Awesome, let's get five more. All right, last one. And now a little more squatted. We're going straight arm kickback for the triceps. And then we're starting that one right over again. Really straighten those arms out. Let's get five more. All right, come on up. Catch your breath. We're going right back into the split squat and the overhead press. Okay, we're gonna go for about 10 on each side. Last one. And then if you wanna grab a heavier weight, go ahead and do that. And once again, let's do 10 to 12 pulls. So you're just pulling your thumb right towards your armpit. Try to keep that back leg out straight. I'm gonna try for three more. Awesome, bring it up. Let's flip over, switch sides. Okay, you're in your split squat position, reaching up over your head. And let's go for 10. <laughs> Last one. 
And then once again, if you want to grab a heavier weight, go for it. And let's try doing 12 here. Keep your elbow close to your side. One more. Hold for just a second. Awesome. I'm going to sit right here. Bent arms. Bent arm lateral raise. So again, you should really get this behind your shoulder blades, not on top. So it's almost like I was doing it straight arm, just keeping them bent. It's a little bit different. Kind of land up with your weights next to your ears. Let's get five more. Last one. I'm gonna come up just a little bit and we're hinging. So elbows, try to stay parallel with your shoulders and we're just hinging at the shoulder. Really working those shoulder blade muscles. Let's get three more. Last one, back down into the squat. Arms come straight back. And we're doing a straight arm kickback. Let's do two more. Woo. All right. Everybody, we're doing that one more time before we switch. So let's get back in your split squat position. Ten on each side. I'll give you a quick water break after this. Oops, I think that was 11. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's switch to this. Once again, if you want to grab a heavier weight, go for it. We're going for 12. Two more. Hold for one second. All right, flip it on over. Other side. 10. Last one. All right, do that hip hinge. And let's pull 12 reps. Last one, hold for a second. Woo, come on up, bent over, bent arm raise. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Let's go for three more. Bring it in. Let's get 10 hinges. Last one. Down here, kick back so you get a quick water break. Two more. Woo. All right. Everybody grab a little bit of water. And for our next set, maybe grab some slightly heavier dumbbells. I've got some 12s here and some 5s. 
So I'll go ahead and show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some chops, okay? These are explosive. We have done these before, but just to show you the form before we get started, you're gonna squat to one side and explode to the other side. Okay, eyes follow your hands and you pivot. Before we do the other side, we'll do a squat and reach. Then we'll go this way and we've got other fun exercises. All right, are you ready? We're trying for 12 to each side. So we're here, here. It is explosive. Last one. And in the middle, we're trying for 12. Last one, other side. Here we go. Last one. All right, set your weight down. I am gonna hit the floor and I'm going on my knees at first. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm going up here. We're going to do an eccentric push up. What that means is we are going to lower down really slow and we're going to hold it right here for five seconds. Three, two, one. Hit your knees so that you can come back up. And from here, we lower very slow. When we get to parallel, we're holding for three. Four, five, come to your knees so you can push back up and bring it down nice and slow. And hold it. Two, three, four, five, hit your knees. Come on back up, nice and slow. We're gonna try for two more of these. Hold it here, two, three, four, Five, hit your knees. All right, second to last one. Lower down slow. Hold it here, hold it. Two, one, hit your knees. Last one, nice and slow. Hold it, two, three, four, five. Woo. And then good news, we're going right back to those chops. Are you ready? Pop yourself up, grab your weight, and here we go. Going for 12. Last one. Squats in the middle, here we go. Two more. All right, chops to the other side. Last one, set your weight down. Let's hit the floor, we're trying five of these. All right. Nice and slow. Right here. One, two, three, four, five. Drop to your knees so you can come back up and lower slow. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Drop to your knees. Two, 
Last one. And squats to the middle. One more. Chops to the other side. Here we go. Last one. Set your weight down. Three eccentric push ups. You can do it, everybody. Here we go. Just three. Lower it down slow. Hold it. Two, three, four, five. Drop to your knees. Push it up. Here we go. Lower slow. Hold it. Two, three, four, five. Drop to your knees. Last one. Nice and slow. Hold it. Two, three, four, five. Woo! All right. Quick drink. We got about four minutes left. I'm going to introduce you to a new one today. I want you to grab a weight not too heavy. You're going to sit on the floor. One knee bent with the same hand with the dumbbell on that knee. Other leg is out straight. We're going to lift and press at the same time. Lift and press. Let's try three more. Last one, hold for a second. Come on down, switch sides. So other arm, other knee. Here we go, we're going for 10. Last one. Woo. Right back to the other side. You thought we were done with those. Ah, not quite yet. Other side. Here we go. Ten. Last one. All right, switch sides. Ten more on this side. Ready? Here we go. Last one. All right, have a seat. Take your same dumbbell. We don't have too much time left, but I want to hit the floor really quick. Bring your dumbbell slightly over your head. Bring your knees to where your shins are facing the ceiling. Slightly lift your head and alternate and extend one leg at a time. You should be pushing your lower back into the floor, just holding that weight over your head. By extending one leg at a time, we're keeping your back in a safe, neutral position while we're really challenging your ab muscles. Let's try to get three more on each side. All right, bring it all the way down. 
From here, just lift up. Let's squeeze your glutes for 15 seconds. Let your arms come up over your head and relax while your butt's squeezing. Woo. And sit it up. And let's hinge yourself forward, reaching those shoulder blades, thumbs towards the ceiling. Man, time flies when we're sweating, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, how did it get to be 12 30 already? If you'd like to do a quick hip flexor stretch, awesome. If you have to hop off, I totally know. We're a few seconds over. If you have a second, quick hip flexor, reaching up over your head. And other side. But at least you know you crammed a lot of great work in a short amount of time. Burn a lot of calories. Good job, everybody. Don't forget tomorrow, full body range of motion at 12.05. Thanks everyone for coming. Have a great day.